everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. All right, I am in the mood to play. We are at my paint table. And I showed you guys recently of something that I had purchased that I can't wait to play with. It's my big, 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 big jelly plate. So um, what I'm going to do today is the reason I got this jelly plate, and I'll tell you what I had in mind for it. Um, and you can see it all piled here underneath. You know how when we get... Uh, do, do, do. I'm losing my brain already. You know how when we get uh, packets of scrapbook paper? And it, it always happens. There's like ugly stuff. <laughs> There's just just paper that I would never use. Um, I mean, it's not all ugly. Yeah, it probably could be used for some purpose or another. But I really I, I see it like this. What am I going to do with that? No. No, 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 no. I don't like the colors. I think, notice there's a lot of like dark orangish browns in here. Um, I didn't go through my green or blue pile. That could be why, but I just pulled some of this out and I thought, you know, guess what? We're going to make them into jelly prints. So I'm going to set that aside, get my jelly plate out, but I want to put it on something instead of just, eh, that the heck with it. We'll just put it right on the top. It won't hurt anything. Love this big guy. And I'm really excited. I want to try out a couple new techniques that I um, was talking to a girl about uh, at the art store where I bought the jelly plate. Um, it's just plain regular art store. See, here she is. She sits on a thing of um, plastic right now, but she slides. So I'm going to flip her over. It's all good. There she be. All right. Let me get some paints, get some tools, and let's get this party started. I'll be back. Hey guys, um, I got some different paints out here. Um, we're going to start off with our um, cool colors. I have promised myself this year that I am going to use the art guard I have. I usually don't use it. I have two big jars of it like this, so it's got to be used. So I'm trying to make that a habit. So there we go. We got that done. First thing we're going to do is start throwing down some paint on our jelly print, jelly plate, I should say. Um, I'm actually going to do it right on the plate. I'm not going to put it on my painter's thing over here. This is an old thing of yellow that I know has to be used up. There's not much left in it. So what we're going to do... Do, do, do. Yeah, get to the goodness on the inside. So let's get this out here. Grab a brush. Get some yellow on here. And I plan on using all that up today, so that's not a problem. Stick that right in there. Let's go a little bit of uh, green. And let's take a little bit of, let's take a little bit of this blue. No, nope, let's make it this blue. Oops, missed it. There we go. See, some of these paints are just, I gotta start using them up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a brayer. Um, any old brayer you have or you can use. Come on, move back. And we're just going to start getting this paint laid down. Now, I'm not looking for a specific pattern or a specific print at this point. I'm just putting down paint. Look at that lovely, lovely paint. Now, I have all of my lovely tools over here where I can do fun things like make circles, 
Why not? Right? We got circles. We can make squares. What else can we do? Here's another small circle. I just have this thing with circles. I love circles. And I especially love it on paper. And you know what? I didn't bring my extra paper over here. I really should have. All right. First thing I'm going to do. Well, this is why I bought this big jelly plate. I can take this 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And I can pull. I'm just really lightly running this. Basically so that... Um, all pieces of the paper touch the jelly print or the jelly plate. Now, that looks like a much more interesting piece of paper for me to use <laughs> than what it was. So, I'm going to let it sit here for a minute. Alright, there's stuff in my way. Stuff has to move. I just moved into my new studio and I'm still working on getting things where I need them. Um, I need to find my other papers. Hold on. That's my grandbaby says, hold on grandma, hold on. So I've just got some scrap paper here. This is just packing paper. I just want to pull another print. And uh, just so you know, I am not a professional with the jelly plate. I just like to have fun. Look at that goodness. All right, let's put it down here. How far did we go? Doesn't matter, we'll go all the way. Love it. And then I'm gonna take one more here. And just pull a little bit more of that paint off. How fantastic is that? Oops, I'm back on the plate. Let me hang this up. You guys gotta bear with me because I'm working on getting this uh, room the way I want it and to make things easy for me. And we're working on it. It's getting there. Now, I want just some plain... What do we got here? These are old envelopes, just some envelopes. I just want to pull some a little bit more of that off. Now, do I have to do this? No, I don't. Um, we can just go ahead and keep putting paint on. As a matter of fact, I will use my brayer that still has paint on it. And we'll just put it down. And we'll pull it back up off. Right? This is so much fun. Get that all off there. Let's put some more paint on this baby. So, again, I am not perfect with this plate. Never said I claimed or I said I was, was. Absolutely not. But I love to play and paint. And who doesn't like to play and paint, right? We're mixed media artists. Paint is so much fun just to move around and get gooey and you guys gotta move out of my way. Now I can just leave this just like this and pull a print. Um actually I'm gonna do an envelope. Okay. Very pretty. Love the colors. Now I'm just going to flatten it back out a little bit. Come on, things get out of my way. Playing, playing. Alright, I got a, this is just a bamboo skewer here. I just want to put some randomness. I am not pushing hard. I am just very lightly pushing the paint away. Okay. Just making it look like, you know, Maybe I'm writing something or just random. Just playing in the paint. Now 
Now with this one, what I'm going to do is those parts where the paint is gone, what you're going to see is the paper that was underneath it. So I'm going to use this piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to put it right on the edge again. And I'm just going to go lightly over it. Just real lightly making sure that the entire piece of paper contact connects with the jelly plate. And pull it off. That's really cool. Now, I'm going to start running out of places to put these because I do want to do some more on them. But, um, I've got some more envelopes here. I don't want to do all of them in this, but I'm going to do a couple more. These are just... Um, that was kind of cool. These are just business envelopes that come in the mail. You know, you're supposed to drop them in, a, you know, to send a payment back or whatever. This is my timeshare. Um, but I do everything online, so hey, why not use the envelopes? So, all right. So we got a few envelopes out of that. That's cool. Set that aside. So I'm going to go back over with my brayer again. Now, I want to add some more. Let's put some more blue into this one. I want a little bit more blue. Uh-oh, we're going to have to cut Adina Wakely apart today. Don't want that. That's a dried piece. There we go. And let's get a darker blue. How about this one? This is acrylic. Okay, I'm going to use my, oh, come on guys, come on, come on part, I'm going to use my brayer again. Now I have a lot of paint on this jelly plate, you do not have to put this much paint on here, but I plan on playing on it for a while. So that's why I'm putting the amount of paint on it, it you know, to me it doesn't matter, I'm going to be here for a little while doing this. So I can make as many prints as I want or, um, you know, pull it off as many times. So that's why I'm putting as much paint as I am on here. You do not have to do that. You can be very light with your paint. Um, you know, you can, you, only, you can only use just part of the jelly plate if you'd like. You don't have to use the whole jelly plate. All right, let me set this out of the way. I want some more... Okay, this is, um, this looks like a Taco Bell bag, and that's exactly what it is. So, I'm going to, let's get some design in here. We can't just do it like that. This is a weed whacker tool that my friend brought to me. She's like, hey, we just replaced our wire in our weed whacker. Do you want this? Heck yeah. That's a weed whacker tool. Give that little bit of design. Over here. This is just a square, like I think it's a clay cutter or cookie cutter. Just plain. Uh, there's an O. This, oops, came out of my granddaughter's one of her tic tac toe games. We're talking a long time ago. This, this piece, <laughs> this. Boy, she never noticed it was missing. <laughs> I've had one of the X's too. <laughs> bad girl, I know. Bad, bad grandma. All right. So, anything for art. Let's put this piece of paper right here. Now, if you go really rough with this and really start pushing and really, it will move if you have a lot of paint on your jelly plate. If you don't have a lot of paint, if you have like a thin layer of paint, it won't move so much. Um, because I have a lot of paint on here, if I did that, it definitely would have moved it. All right, so let's see what she looks like, shall we? Do, 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 do. Love it! Love it! Now I'm just going to take my jelly, or my brayer. I'm just going to pull that back down again. Now I want, let's take, where's my, oh, right here. Looking for my skewer and it's right here. 
I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is just kind of I don't know, I'm just playing. Just organic shapes, maybe some leaves, maybe not. Whatever. I was actually just playing, so. And we can do circles. We can do dot, dot, dot. that huh listening to some 80s music why not teacher leave those kids alone all right let's take oh let me find another piece of paper okay this is just like some some um, I don't know. well that's an inventory of something this is a paper mill paper making kit. We're just going to go right over that. This is an inventory, that sheet that I'm going to try to completely cover up. Now I am pushing a little harder on that because I want to cover up that printing that's there. It's not all covered up, but we're going to do our best. Isn't this fun? See? It's just fun. Now, and I'm only starting the first layer. You can take this and go layer after layer after layer and just keep putting um, layers on your jelly prints. You know, I've seen some jelly prints that come out just like a piece of artwork. You can do that. Okay, that's not how I use my jelly prints. Jelly prints. <laughs> um, I use them to take them and cut them up and, and do other things with them. So that's why I am not um, specifically looking for a certain look or um, a certain design. I'm playing. So I'm going to throw a couple more of these inventory sheets down here. Now I'll take these jelly prints and I may take them and go... Um, you know, I may draw flowers on them and cut them out or uh, use them in my dye machine and, and cut out some hearts or, you know, whatever the case may be, just to uh, use the jelly prints that I've made. Uh, a lot of times I'll take them, you'll see me, I'll tear them up and use them as background pieces. All right, I've got too much stuff laying here right now. I need to get some of this hung up. I'll be right back. All right, so I hung up some of them. A few other ones here I want to keep working with. Just gonna throw down some blue. Come on. Come on. Some of these um, paints are I've had for so long. I really need to use them up. Oops. That looks like enough of that. I probably should have my apron on. I don't. I just have a t shirt and some leggings. Gotta love my leggings. They're so comfy. All right, now we're going to do this a little bit different. Instead of using my brayer, why not? See what happens. Ooh, look at the colors. It's almost like a marbleized. Look at that. And this is just a, spa a spatula that I had my husband cut off for me. I didn't like the long handle, so I was like, can you do something with this? He's like, sure. Took it downstairs, stuck it on one of his saws down there, come back up. He rounded the handle and everything for me. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's get a little bit more of this. Where's the lighter? Here it is. Love it. All right, now we're going to take another piece of this scrapbook paper. 
nasty, nasty scrapbook paper. Let's use, uh, let's use this one with all the dots on it. Let's see how this turns out. Ready? We're just going to pull a print of, you know what? Let me just kind of, this reminds me of a water, you know, in a way. All right, let's see. We're going to take it right to the edge. And we're just going to do a light print. Make sure all of the paper touches the jelly plate so that you don't end up with little white lines all the way around the corner. That's one thing that bothered me about the 8x10 jelly plates. Isn't that neat? I think it's neat. All right. Um, the 8x10 jelly plates, they were driving me crazy because... I would have, you know, a regular piece of like printer paper or something, and then I'd have this line. I didn't like that line. Okay, now, this paint is starting to dry kind of quick, and I think it's because of the way I've got it. All you have to do is just take a sprayer and just lightly mist, okay? And that just gets your paint a little bit more pliable. Don't soak it, or it'll just look like this. But I want to take this envelope again. Look at that. Now I am going to do the back as well. Now, doing the back, I'm just going to do this. Normally I just stick my hand down on it, but yeah, I learned I get. Look at that. Cool. It's going to be hung up. We're going to take another envelope. And this one I'm just going to, let's see, let's do a reprint of that. There we go. Just got a little bit of blue on it. And now we're going to take a reprint here. So much fun! Alright, I'm going to hang these two up. And what I have is I just have this little line that's uh, running across my studio from side to side. And um, now we're going to take this old print that I've been playing with here. We're just going to do some randomness around on it and I'm turning it so that I'm not hitting the same spot I hope I'm not really looking I'm just okay I do want to get some more on the edges don't want the edges all left isn't that cool this corner's got to have some put on it how cool is that once this dries, it's just going to be the neatest piece of paper. Now, because I still have leftover paint on here, I have these uh, that I did previously. And again, just their inventory sheets, and I'll use them for something. But I'm going to pull up the rest of that paint just to give these a little bit more, a couple more layers and some more prettiness to them. Another one. Now, like I said, you don't have to do this. I'm cleaning up this paint, but you don't have to. You could just keep going, put more paint on. See? All right, so that's done. This one I'm not quite done with yet, so we're going to leave that there. I want some white. Let's get some white in here. Uh, right here's some white. And... Also, when you're using your jelly plate, don't shy away from black. Black can be really cool at times. All right, so I'm going to throw some white down here. And I want some of that blue that I had. I want a different blue. Um, let's use this darker blue. This is a little bit darker. Ooh, that's a lot darker. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing with my spatula here. Yeah, try to keep your paint on your jelly plate. It works better. I can tell you, I like spreading paint this way. Look at the just the instant colors and... Um, layers that it gives you just by playing with your paint like this okay 
Now what do we want to do in here? I want to make big round circles. So let's see what we've got. Um, those are foamies. Oh, look at this. This is a plate. I want to make big round circles with it. Yeah. Just gonna take this plate and wipe it off on this page here. And it's funny because sometimes your wipe off pages are gonna be the coolest ones. <laughs> Love it! All right, get a little bit of that off my hands. Now, what are we gonna print on this? <laughs> Let's find another funky paper sheet here. All right. Uh oh, just lost a palette. Hold on. Hold on. All right, we have this. Let's use this. Why not? Happy New Year and cheers. Well, Happy New Year. And I'm just going to go very, very light because I don't want to lift a lot of this paint. Just very, very gently, a feather's touch. And even by doing that, look at how much paint it picked up. Now that's cool, huh? All right, let's set this aside. I'm actually going to take another one. This one has got roses on it. This is kind of like a different type of paper, but we're going to do another one. And same thing, I'm just going to go very, very light. Feathers touch. Make sure I get all my edges down. This one's going to have an edge along here. Look at how interesting that makes that look. Okay, I'm really liking this paint. So I'm going to pull another one. This one I'm doing a little bit heavier because there's not a whole lot of paint left on the jelly plate. Okay, there's not as much paint as I needed. So I'm just going to take it and keep going. I'm going to add it in places where I think it needs more. Okay. This is so much fun. I love playing with my jelly plate. Sometimes, you know, we all talk about um, how, you know, my mojo's left me and I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, you know what? Get out your jelly plate. Just start plopping down paint and playing with it. I'm just, this is what's left on my little scooper here. Um, spatula. So I'm just gonna put it off onto this. Not to waste paint. We don't want to waste that paint. This is gonna come off. Stay on there. I'm gonna have to glue that sucker on there. Don't want to waste my paint. All right. Let me get some of these hung up. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in some more with some white. Need some more white. I need some more what? Some more what? I want some more white. What am I gonna what color am I gonna put in it? How about we put throw some of this in? Is that what I just used? No, I don't think so. And let's throw come on. Let's throw a little bit of this Dina Wakely lime. Love the lime, right? All right, ooh, ooh, ooh. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I see pretties happening. And let's just get all the way around the jelly plate so that we can take full prints, not just partials. Try not to get it to go down the side of your jelly plate. That's just a waste of paint. Now, I want a little bit more of this blue. I got some blue up there and not so much down here. So I want a little bit more down here. 
think we're going to have to cut this one open too. Like it. Okay. Now I've, I'm, I'm going toward circles, so circles is what it is. Um, ooh. All right, so we're going to do some circles. Just some random circles. Now I really liked when this, look at that. I like that. Clean that off on this little scrunchie here. Just fun, 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 fun. I like it. It's like pulling up different parts of the plate of the paint in the different layers. I like that. And I also have this thing. This is just, I don't know what it is. But look it. It makes such a neat, um, just something. Non-generic or generic design. Okay, let's get a piece of paper and let's see what this looks like. We are going to take a piece of, I think this is actually fabric. Yeah, it is. Um, we're just going to take a piece of fabric. It, this came in a pad, I think. It was like a fabric paper. Well, what the heck. Let's see what it looks like, right? I'm not trying to go too heavy on it because I know there's a lot of paint on there again. I don't know if you can see that, but you can actually see the pink coming up from underneath. That's very cool. I have this piece that's been sitting here um, that we did before. So I'm going to pull another print on this one. Let's just do it here and there. What's that sound? I like it. I like, I like, I like it. Let's do a little bit more right here. Perfect. Love it. So that one's got to be hung up. Now we've got this piece that we've been playing with, right? So this is how you just keep building layers until you get what you like. If you don't like it, let it dry or put another layer on it. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, my paint's starting to dry out. Again, I'm just going to spritz it real lightly. So I can bring it back to life a little bit. You don't have to really rush when you're using your jelly plate, but you can't be a turtle. Um, that won't work. So when you use your jelly plate, you have to um, pretty much be attentive to it and just keep going. And let your hands get all dirty and painty and fun. Love it. All right, these are just, again, those sheets. I'm going to start pulling. Now this, I'm just, I'm doing this to pull the paint. So I'm not really worried about so much about what it's going to look like. Um, I'm pulling the paint. So there's another one. Okay, this one doesn't have very much on it, so let's get this one going. Look how fun this is. fun just play I love it I'm really surprised I haven't went into a coughing attack with you guys um, I was diagnosed with uh, pneumonia and it's it's been nasty to me but so far so good sucking on cough drops constantly kind of like Gina does hoping it's not permanent okay Yay! Let me get some of these hung up and we'll be back. All right, now, remember I said don't be afraid of your black. We are going to play around in our black paint. I'm just going to pick out, I'm picking out a couple little tools here out of my tool chest. I have a tool chest back here that um, I keep all this kind of stuff in. All right, we're going to put some black down, just pure black. 
Oh, this is a real thick, heavy black. It's a Reeves. All right, I'm going to add just a touch of water to that because it is a very heavy black. All right, now, common sense. If you take your jelly plant right now put it over this, your entire piece is going to be covered up. It's going to be all black, right? So we don't do that. What we do is we take away some black. And how we do that is with marks. Oops, that one didn't do very well. Maybe, maybe not. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this that I just put all this black ink on. Can you see this over here? I think you can. I'm just going to get rid of that black ink. That's more what I'm looking for. But we're just gonna we're gonna play, and then as we take some of this paint off here, I'm hoping that I will get back down to the thing I put too much paint on. Come on, come on. This what this is what happens when this dries out and gets this crusty on it. It won't do crap anymore. See, I mean it'll make marks, but not. Not on there, which is what I wanted. Get this stuff out of my way. I need a bigger paint table. Honey! <laughs> He'd be like, are you kidding me? Now, what I want to do, this is my play page, my wipe up page. I want to see. See, I can just pull just a little bit of that without covering up my whole background, I can still give it that um, black, grungy look. That's what it's called, just a grungy look. And there we go, that's a perfect grungy. So let's take, oh, ugh, oh, oh, this paper, I can't, I just, ugh, let's cover that puppy up. All right, that one's going black. But look, you can still see some of the stuff underneath. Um, which I'd prefer not to, but <laughs> you can still see some of the stuff. Now I'll go back over this one with white and other colors. This, love it. I just want to add, let's add a little bit of this black to it if I can. Good. Perfect. That one's going to be hung up. All right, this is now my wipe off page. This paper I just cannot stand, so I'm going to use as much of this black. This didn't work the way I planned on it, guys. Just so you know. Ugh, don't have enough black on there yet. <laughs> but, da 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 da. I'm telling you, I have to tell you, my husband's a saint. He busted his butt on this art studio for me. He, um, the poor guy, he work all day at work and come home at night and work and there was days I had to tell him, no, you can, you're not working on that today. Just chill out and enjoy yourself for a change. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's the mood I'm in. All right. We're going to leave black alone for right now. Um, I do want to get out some of my, um, ow, warmer colors. So let's do that. I have a couple here. I've got purple and pink. This is a Dina Wakely purple. So a little bit there, a little bit here. And here's the pink. Oh, you know what? Let's add some white. Let's add some white. We still have black on there, but that's okay. Let's add a little bit of white. Look at all that paint. Goodness. Painty goodness. Oh, now we have our black thing. So, let's use a palette knife. Why not? Who said we can't use a palette knife? Nobody. Playing in that, ooh, painty, painty goodness. Okay, again, I think my paint is drying quicker because my heat, it's really hot in here right now. So I'm just, I probably added a little bit too much water there, but that's okay. 
Gotta remember to keep it to two squirts. Two squirts, girl. I hope you guys are having fun watching me, and I hope you're playing along. I, you know, whether you're doodling in your art journal or, um, you know, just playing. Have fun. That's what art is about, and that's, you know, I've learned after having to live with chronic pain, I've learned that, man, you know, you're out there working your butt off, and is it fun? No. Not everybody has a job that they love, and, you know, you have to have some kind of a joy in your life. So why not make it art? I'm going to throw this black in here. Maybe. Okay, just made a mess of that. All right, what are we going to do? I don't want circles. Let's do something different. That's kind of cool. This is just a cookie cutter I found somewhere. Here's a key cookie cutter. Now this first print is not going to be the best because look how much paint is on here. I've got a lot of paint loaded onto this. This looks like something like a Christmas thing. So the first page I'm going to do is going to be on and off. Ready? On, off. All right, because that's just a lot of paint. We're going to do another one. On and off. I like loading up the jelly plate to do this. This just gives me a little base to work with. Okay. I've got a couple wipe-up sheets here. On and off. Look at that. On and off. Now, now I can get this cleaned down a little bit. Because look at, I don't have as so much paint now. So actually, let's get back out the brayer. Where's my brayer? Right here. Let's get back out the brayer. And let's get this evened up a little bit again. All right, let's go back in with our, um, where'd it go? Cookie cutters. Here's our key. And we're going to see a lot clearer print come from this now because there's not so much paint on it. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the cookie cutter on there and I'm just turning it a bit. So instead of just leaving that thin line, it's actually going to show the pattern. Right? Okay. Now, let's find Oh, let's see. I have so much ugly paper. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Let's take this one. We're going to see what this looks like just for the heck of it. And I'm going to do a full print. Again, I'm going to go really light. I just want the first impression. Those other ones that I did are fantastic because they have texture on them. They have a lot of paint on them. Once they dry, they're going to come out really cool. Or once I do another print with them. So, here we go. It's got a little bit better print. This one has to have a lot more work to it. So we're just going to set that aside over here. Come on, sit there. Okay, we got another wipe-off sheet right here. This wipe-off sheet's got all this black and orange in it. We are going to take down this jelly plate and we're just going to put this paint over it. Okay? There's different layers here. <coughs> Pardon me, I still got the orange. <coughs> I still got the orange in there, which is okay. But we're, again, we're going to add more to that. And actually, while I'm sitting here looking at this, you're going to think I'm crazy. See this? This is the very first one I took off this jelly print. What I'm going to do is I want this paper to go onto that paper and pull some of that paint off. Look at that. Can you see that? That's cool. That would make cool, cool, cool flowers. So like I said, if you're looking for a jelly print 
class um, or something where you can make beautiful pieces of artwork on your jelly prints, this is, I'm not the one, okay? I use it to make, well, abstract art. <laughs> oh, I like this. Look at this. <laughs> See, you just play. That's cool. All right, this one, I got to hang up and let it dry for a bit or it's going to stick all over everything. So I'll hang that up right here. Oops. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Paint's on the floor. <laughs> I put my hubby came in. Guess what? <laughs> it's christened. All right. Let's take this brayer and get what's left off here. We'll take this tool, get whatever's left on this one. This one out of water, spray it down, and play, play, play some more. Now, do I want to put, kind of like that grunge, but do I want to, let's try a little bitty corner. Yeah, let's put a little bit on there, why not? Eh, it's interesting. Good enough, perfect. All right. We have more paper over here. Now, now I'm just pulling um, just ink off or paint off. I want to pull the paint off this jelly plate. Look at that. Neato. That could start out as a graffiti style background. All right. My hands are getting so thick with paint that they're starting to stick, which means they're sticking to my paper. So I need to get my hands cleaned off a little bit, and I'll be right back. So I got my fingertips a little bit um, cleaned off. I'm not going to clean them all the way because that's just a waste. So if you end up saying, okay, something's got to give. i got to get back to step one or square one. Just take a baby wipe, and you can wipe down your jelly plate. Okay? So that's what I'm doing. Having problems breathing right now. Um, so let's get these down. Get this cleaned up. Awesome. So that's done. I don't know if that doesn't have anything more on it. All right, let's see what we're going to do now. Let's start with some of this. These I want to keep out. Um, this can go back. I got to do something with that. Do, do, do. We're going to use up the rest of this yellow. That I do now. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see what we got here. What can I use to get in here? All the goody goody. What a palette knife. We have to get all of the goodness. We can't leave paint in here. In a minute, I'm going to have to say, No, the one bites the dust. Do, 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 do. And guess what? That one's biting the dust. All right. <laughs> Get all the paint off my paintbrush. <laughs> Actually, I think what I'm going to do with this paintbrush, I'm just going to take a piece of paper. I'm just going to clean it off. Why waste the paint? Right? Don't waste the paint. Don't waste the paint. In the water she goes. All right. So we've got our yellow down. What are we going to put with our yellow? Um, I don't really want yellow and blue. How many orange? How come I don't have any orange over here? Let me go grab some orange. see I know I can make mud if I'm not careful not so much mud
I know I can use the orange and yellow. I'm not, I don't understand why I said I was going to make mud, but whatever. All right, so let's take this little guy here. Move this stuff out of the way. Let's get back down into some of our earlier pages here. Move this one out of the way. These are some of the earlier pages that we did. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up paint on this tool and just throw it down here. It's all just part of making marks. Okay, that was fun. Let's do it again on this one. Oh, I like it. Now while I'm doing this, I'm also making marks in the jelly plate. So guess what? The next print that I pull um, is going to have those marks on it as well. So let's pull a print. Let's take some of this. Here we go. Here we go. Funky orange colored flowers. And let's just pull a print. Just going to do it light. Angel light. Feather light, I should say. Every time I think of feathers, I don't know why I think of angels. I think we all have our own angels watching over us. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Isn't that neat? So let's set this one aside. Um, don't know as I really want it on that purple, so let's grab some more scrap paper. I want some... Hey, look. Here's a paper bag. That looks good. Let's put that down there. Get back here, you. Hehehe. <laughs> Let's do both sides. <laughs> Love it! So we're going to sit him aside. Got some more. I got some of these. These came in the, I got in the dollar store a long time ago. Um, it's a whole pack of time cards for a book. And I use these a lot making tags. And this is just a perfect way to just get paint on them. And you can always, you know, add more or cut off a part you don't like. Um, so this is one of the ways I start using this kind of stuff. All right, we don't have much more on there. So let's do some more. Let's get so I like this orange. I like this. This is kind of like a bright orange. I kind of like it. So we're going to use the orange. I'm going to go back in the yellow. Another one bites the dust. Sing with me, people. All done. That one's bye-bye. You know what? Let's use this one up. This is a Claudine Helmuth. Um, I got this in a Friday. Uh, not a Friday. Ooh, that one is... Look how dry that is. I don't think I'll be using that one up right now. I'll have to reconstitute that one. Let's get another yellow. Um, yeah, I picked that one up on Tuesday morning. That one I've had, oh, for a long, long time, since I started doing uh, mixed media. So that one's just, it's a very old paint. So let's throw a little bit of white in here. Why not? Because we can, right? I am having so much fun playing with this jelly plate. So glad I got it. It's funny because I wasn't going to pick it up because it, it was not cheap. And uh, my husband's like, why not? <laughs> well, since you said it that way. <laughs> He's like, why not? Okay, I got it. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm really glad I did. Because I, I just, I have fun. And when I can do, um, you know, full sheets, especially the scrapbook paper. I have got a whole shelf full of scrapbook paper. And I'll be honest with you, I started it with, with all good intentions of scrapbooking my granddaughter's life. Well, I have only got to like when she's two and she just turned seven. And I'll be very honest with you, I haven't touched it in over a year. Hmm. 
with that being said, <laughs> what am I going to do with all this scrapbook paper? So, um, what we're going to do is just use it. This is just a little stamper, a foam stamp. Uh, these foam stamps, I have found, I get them in Hobby Lobby, usually on the clearance aisle. I like them. Um, I love the fact that, you know, they're they're relatively inexpensive, and they're just fun. There's fun different shapes and styles and sizes, and I just like them. So we're going to hang you up. All right. I have no idea how long we've been on doing this, but I hope it's okay with you guys. Um, you know, I just, I've decided that... I'm going to share more of my journey with you guys as to what I do. And this is what I do. This is how I learn to um, deal with the chronic pain. Painkillers help, but um, how to deal with the chronic pain. And, you know, just learning to live. Okay, this is just a flower. And all I'm doing is putting it on there and sticking it on here. So why waste the paint? I mean, we're making the mark in the jelly print. Um, we don't want to waste the paint that's on there, so there we go, right? All right, so let's set that aside. All right, I want to pull a light print on this one. Ugh, look at this. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Somebody likes it. I'm sorry. I just don't. It's not my style. So I'm going to do a very, very light print. And I will be right back because my radio shut off. Hold on. Okay, I also had to get my chair because my back's starting to pound. So, um, here we go. Light, light, light jelly print. Look at all that painty goodness. And we got rid of that ugly paper. Ugly. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, we got this one and this one and that one and these and those and more. See, what I end up doing is I end up piling a bunch of them up and then I'll go through and, and you know, start, start working them down and see what else, you know, um, we can get off them. So I'm gonna put one right here. I'll pull a little bit more of that paint. That works. Set that aside. Now, I'm not liking how splotchy this is looking, so here we go. Just, just one, two, that's it. That's all we need. Actually, I'm going to use my brayer. Where is it? I'm going to get this brayer down and kind of uniform again. See? I like that chaotic, um, not so fancy top layer, you know what I'm saying? So um, I don't use the brayer all the time. I just don't like to. I mean, the brayer's nice, but it gives it all that one consistency. And if that's what you like to do, that's fine. Do all one layer consistency. I don't. So I'm going to stick a little bit of this blue in here because I can. And I'm going to stick a little bit of this blue in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost gone. Okay, so we'll put a little bit of that blue in there. Get off there. Now I'm just um, adding layers right now. I'm not, of course, going for a design or anything. I'm just putting colors down. Um, colors that I think I want to see on here. I'm going to add some white. Just come put it right on my brayer. And then that way I can add it where I want it, where I want to see it.
I need a bigger paint table. I can see it coming in the future. Okay, so those are the colors I wanted to see. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with um, these tools. This is just a little dot tool. So I'm just going to run some dots. Mm. Run some dots. Mm. See? Just add some little dots on there. Just put that off to, off to the side. I want to do pull some prints. Um, let's see, we need some dots on this, right? Let's do white. There we go, a little bit of blue. Perfect. That one's going to be hung up. Just playing. Just making marks and... You know, you don't have to have, this is not expensive paint. I will not get out my golden paint to do this. Um, this is all pretty much craft paint. And you don't have to have expensive paint to do this. You can go to your dollar store and if you can find paint at your dollar store, pick it up and bring it home and use it on your jelly print. Um, there's nothing that says you can't. So don't think that, oh, you know, I don't have the money to buy that paint doesn't matter. You just buy whatever paint you can afford and you have fun with it. All right. I like the way this is right now. So I am going to pull a print on it. Um, look, look. I know it's funny. I'm doing opposite colors, but that's okay. It's just adding a little interest into that background. So I'm going to put it down right here. Light, feather light, angel light, jelly print. Let me know if you guys get tired of these long videos. Let me know. Now look at that. Now, that piece of paper I would use on something. Not these this edge. I don't like that edge. But, you know, it's pretty cool. So let's sit that there. Let's grab another one. Ugh. All right, let's try this ugly striped. Ugh. Okay. Let's put it right to the corner. Uh, but like I said, if you guys, you know, if you don't want the longer videos, you want the fast throughs, let me know. Um, if you prefer me sitting here jabbering, hey, I'll jabber away. I'm a talker. always have been. That was one of my things on my kindergarten uh, report card was I talk too much. <laughs> I still do. My husband just shakes his head. <laughs> Look at that. Now I turned that ugly piece of striped paper into something I can use. I love it. All right, what have we got here? This is our bag. It looks kind of oh, iffy. We'll have to get some more blues and stuff on that, but we got to set that aside for now. I got some purples over here. Um, heck, let's take one of these purples and see what comes of it. Let's take this purple one. Why not? We can. Now I'm not being gentle. Um, this might leave purple down. No, it didn't. But I like it. It's getting different colors to it. And it, it kind of just gives it that even better look of painted paper. How cool is that? I'm so happy. I love my jelly plate. I haven't been jelly printing. I haven't done this in a couple months because I've been so busy um, designing the studio and getting it. Uh, you know, working on it with my hubs. I couldn't really work on it, but I like to keep him company when he's working on it. So, um, you know. All right. Let me get some of this stuff hung up and we're going to come back to the jelly plate. We're going to try to finish up some of these other prints that I've got laying around here and then we'll be done for today. I'll be right back with you. All right. So I just cleaned off my brayer on this. Just going to pick up some more of this paint on these. Look at that. Cool. Pick up some more paint. It's all good. So. Now, um, the one girl did tell me that um, I was talking to at the art store. She had went to a show, and I can't remember who she said did it. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that. I'm going to wake it up a little bit. Um, and she said that 
Now I'm not going to try this right now. I may try it um, next time, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, she said that what they did is they actually took a tool, like for example, a big round metal cap, and they pushed and made the imprint down in the jelly plate so that when, across, when it went across it, it missed that part. I don't know. Well, let's try it. What the heck? Let's try it. Put it in. Do it across. Actually, it does. Not very well because I don't have much paint on there, but I just, I don't know if I like that idea because, but they said with the jelly plate, it just comes right back. So, ah, uh, uh, try at your own risk. <laughs> All right. Again, I'm just, right now I've got water with a little bit of paint in it on here. So I'm just pulling random, randomness off it. Not sure I like that randomness, but hey, it works. Okay, we've got purple. So we gotta do something with this purple. Let's get out some pink. We got a yellow here. All right, let me clean this jelly plate off, and we're gonna throw down some pink and some white. Um, and we're just gonna keep playing, not for very long though, because I gotta go make dinner. I promised my hubs tonight that I would make him homemade macaroni and cheese. Well, I haven't got there yet. <laughs> So I will have to do that. Again, I'm just taking a, a baby wipe. Just pulling down the paint. Not much paint left on here. It's more um, dried and just watered down. So Now when I do uh, get ready to put it away, I try to make it you know, as clean as possible. I don't take it out to the sink and make sure it's spick and span and all that. No. Um, I wipe it down really good with a baby wipe. Um, sometimes I'll use a paper towel just to, you know, pick up anything else that I might see that's on it, but that's it. And I've never had any problems with them, you know, not working in the future doing it that way. So, you know, like right now I've got this pretty wet um, with the baby wipe. So here's my rag I use, one of my paint rags. And just wipe it down. Okay. Ugh! Fingers stuck. See? I mean, it's not perfectly clear but it's not filthy either so and it's very usable all right so let's get some pink 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 magenta love magenta and white what's this one <gasps> no, I can't do purple again got to do pink oh lots of white all right this I do want to clean off because it had icky on it icky colors so I'm just gonna take a I had like a lucky uh, mud color. So I'm just gonna clean this off real quick. Um, again, my brayers, I don't do them perfect. I'm just wiping it down with a baby wipe, spinning it with my thumb. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Look how pretty. <laughs> All right, I got something now. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, okay. All right. Paint, 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 paint. got to get out of my way. That's one thing about jelly printing, you got to have space. <laughs> if you don't have space, it's a pain in the butt. Um, you got to have space. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just showing you how I use my jelly plate. Um, and, oh darn, it wouldn't turn. That's all right, we'll do it this way. Really wanted that to turn, but it didn't. And it's not that it won't, it will, you just have to push harder. Okay, what else are we gonna do to this? Think, 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 think. There's so much we can do to these, it's just amazing. I love using this little sponge thing. I just, I think it gives such an organic, um, I don't know what I want to say, organic mark. All right, what else can we have? I want something small. Now, like I said, you can take your time with these 
and you can really make yourself some pretty prints. Um, I don't have the patience to do that. Um, I can tell you that right now, I just don't. I like things to be done quick, easy, have fun while you're doing it. Oops, get out of there. And that's just, that's me, me and my artsy endeavors. It's all random. There's nothing, you know, I'm not saying, oh, I want a circle here. Or circle. No, it's just random. So this little guy. Then I have this little guy. I don't know what it came out of. It says remove and discard. Well, it didn't get discarded, but it's got a really cool shape to it. It's got like this little wheel with these little pokey things on it. I think it's built up too much paint. Sometimes I have to take these out in the kitchen and really wash them off because they get built up with paint and you can't see the mark. So, all right, good enough. We are going to take this ugly, 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 purple and black. And we're gonna take a print. And I'm gonna do a full print. I'm going to do an angel light, feather light. I like it. I like the fact that some of the black shows through, some of the purple shows through. A little bit more paint than I wanted on it, but that's okay. It's all right. Here's another one. Let's take this one. Same thing. It's just funky. Let's take it and let's just do a little bit here and there. Okay, now it looks like it's awful pink and purple. So, those are going back into the redo again pile. This guy. This guy's got a lot of it, a little bit of everything. So, let's give him some more. Hmm. Throw a little there. Maybe a little here, a little here. There we go. Much nicer piece of paper to use. That one I'll keep. Well, I'm keeping them all, but ouch. Fingers are. Let's take another print off this yellow striped paper. I'm not going real heavy on this one, but I'm going heavy enough so I can pick up a good amount of paint. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles. I mean, it's no big deal if you do. You just miss that piece of the... Awesome. I can work with that paper now. Um, it doesn't have quite as much as I want on it, so I'm going to go up there, put it down here again, maybe pull a little bit more white, cover up some more of that yellow. Over here on this end. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay. I want, you know what? I need like a reddish. Let's get another color. How about, this is metallic. We haven't used any metallics today. Uh, this is a violet, it says. Looks to me like it's purplish red. So, take that. Let's, what the heck, let's take a little bit of this metallic in here. And, of course, I need some white. Right, let's get all this white. I'm not sure what that is. That's the cap thing. Got a lot of white in my lid here. Somebody's a sloppy painter in this studio. I don't know who it might be, but man... time is it? Oh, I gotta get my butt in the kitchen. All right, after this one, I have to get in the kitchen. I want to make my hub some dinner. All right. He'll be home in 15 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna have macaroni and cheese done by then. <laughs> That's okay. He's good. He's cool. Oh, I like it. 
Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just pushing on the brayer and not letting it roll. Oops, you can't see. Um, well, there's paint on that brayer. That's cool. All right, what are we going to do with it? Do, 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 do. I just want to... Play. There we go. Good job. I just want to put a little bit on this one. Just a touch. Maybe a touch more. Okay, how about a touch right there? A little touch right there. Perfect. Just want some of that darker color on there. Same with this one. Touch, put a little bit of darker color on. Touch, a little bit darker color. Now, I'm going to take an ugly, ugly, ugly striped green thing. Cover it up. Kind of killed them stripes a little bit. We're going to work more on that one. I'm going to have to come back in and finish this when I get done making dinner. At least got to go get it put in the oven. Ooh. And I make my own macaroni, like homemade cheese sauce and stuff, so he likes it. Ugh, that is just ugly. <laughs> and it's not the print that I'm saying it's ugly, it's the paper. I just can't, ugh. Some of this paper just bleh. <laughs> that one's not too bad, but I just, no. The, the colors seem so bleh. There's no life to them. All right. I am going to clean off my brayer. And I've got to go get washed up, cleaned up. I'll just wash it up. Get some dinner in the oven. Get my hubs fed. And then guess what? I will probably be back. So, hopefully we haven't went too far crazy on this. I'll be back. We'll chat in a bit. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!